And that's where they want us at. They want us to be scared to voice our opinions. They want us to be scared to be Americans, and I will not be scared. I will not hide my opinions. You know, me personally, I think I have more rights than most people because I serve my country in the military. I will give you my opinion. You can like it or not, but I'm going to give it. It's my right as an American, and I will not back off of my rights as an American. Agree or disagree with me, at least you can respect the simple fact that I will tell you straight up how I feel, and it does not change. I, I, I believe by the time you're 30 years old, you ought to know where you stand on things. By the time you're 30, you understand if you like abortion or not, you like homosexuality or not, if you don't like guns or not, if you, if you want to drive a big truck, you want to drive a piece of green stuff that the government's shoving down your throat. I mean, it's going to be up to you to make that decision. Our own inspector couldn't figure it out, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, you know. Then you got the guy down in Florida who now is an independent. Yeah, I mean, you got to have followed your convictions. You really, truly do. I love God. I will talk about him, and I will not be shut up about that. I love my son, and I will not shut up about that. I love this country, and I will not shut up about that. And I will not let the federal government tell me what I'm going to do. It's just not going to happen no more. Now, my drill sergeant, because what we're talking about doing is, is a pretty big thing. I mean, really, trying to change the country? It's huge. How are we going to do that with this small group here? Seems overwhelming, doesn't it? Seems kind of daunting. How are we going to make change? Well, my drill sergeant used to tell me about, don't sweat the small stuff and everything is small. You tackle it one day at a time, one, uh, one issue at a time, and, and you don't get uh, uh, frustrated by it because you're not going to see change right away. November is coming, 2010 in November, and you get to vote, and that's going to be great. But that's just, a, that's just a stopping point here. This movement here is going to be sustained the rest of your life, the rest of your children's life. The moment that that Constitution was ratified by the last of the 13 original colonies, which was Rhode Island, the American movement, the Tea Party, should have sprung up and hold these people accountable to their actions and what they do and what they don't do. And this has got to be a mission the rest of your life. You have to be involved in the government, not politics. Politics is drama and gossip. I mean, you turn on Washington anymore, C-SPAN, it's like watching Days of Our Lives. You know, turn the drama and gossip off. There's a reason why God talked about gossip and how bad it was. You know, turn it off and let's keep our eye on the ball. Don't let mainstream media anymore divert our attention from the actual issues. You know, you have to read a bunch of different articles to actually get the real truth behind things anymore. It takes work. Yeah, that's a four-letter word these days. People don't like the work, but it does. It takes work. And I believe this country is worth saving. So you do it one step at a time, one day at a time. You find out who you want to vote for. You go ask them questions. You don't make your decision based off of cool commercials. You, you, you actually come out here to, to events like this. You go to town halls. You call the guy on the phone or the girl on the phone and say, what do you stand for? You know, what have you done with your life? Can you prove it? You know, and that's why I asked Barack Obama when he told me it's okay to take an extra 3% uh, from me because I was happen to be making $250,000 a year or more. That's my business, not me personally. I thought I was wrong. It was just a moral to sit there and take away from people who work harder than I do or work as hard as I do and then give it to people who don't, who sit on their butts all day and expect this. You know, this has become an entitlement society from the very low poverty level to the middle class to the upper echelon because the politicians feel entitled to your hard work. It's time for you to say no. So start exercising your American rights. You know, great men provided these rights for you and great military members, men and women, have died protecting these rights for you. Honor them. You need to honor them. You know, I, I love my family for the simple fact that they've served in every war America's ever been into, very back to the Revolutionary War, as a matter of fact. I'm very proud of that fact. And I will not disgrace them by doing nothing. Now, you got to figure out what's important in your life and get busy. So thank you very much for showing up today. I really appreciate it.